So here we are, Hooksy. in your studio, Aye. at last, after that, that wonderful drive down the mountain. You've been working in uh, the control room here and, yeah. and in the studio on this new DVD. Yes. Um, and we're going to now see uh, an exclusive clip yeah, from that. Cause yeah. it's, and thank you for that, because mm. it's, not, it's not out and won't be out until the, uh, until the uh, later part of the, of the year. But tell us, this was the gig in Birmingham. It's uh, the the Purple Tour. The last um, shows we did in 2015 uh, w it was an amazing uh, UK and and an Irish tour. Um, it was fantastic. It, I think the tour was actually sold out six months prior to us even coming into town. You know, uh, uh, it was really exciting, and particularly Europe and the Far East. There's, there's an incredible legacy for Deep Purple. So the music people, a lot of people really knew and never thought they'd, I never thought it would be performing that, you know, I'd be performing that stuff again, you mm -hmm. know? So that that was blissful. And and we talked, my creative team and I talked about, well, why don't we film it and record it? And, uh, and that'll be a fabulous kind of finish off to the Purple project. So, uh, you know, and the stuff that I'll never do again, you know, there's no question. Rubble. You want to sing this tree to do? Go right ahead. <laughs> you know. That was from Birmingham, um, yes. one of the clips from the, uh, the forthcoming DVD. And as you said, in, as we came down uh, the mountain, that next year, <laughs> we're With coming the down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> With the 11 commandments. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you, were, you were talking about what you're going to be doing um, to yeah. celebrate the 30th anniversary. Next year. Yeah. yeah. Tell us a bit more about that. Well, it's going to be the first time ever that... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's so interesting. Remember that Pacino movie, The, the Godfather 3, when he goes, I keep trying to get out, but they keep pulling me back in, you know? Yeah. Whenever I go, okay, I thought the Purple album would be perfect, as we discussed, to, to call it a day, you know, in terms of as a performer, mm -hmm. you know? I can never walk away from music. I love expression too much and sharing my stories with people. Uh, and thankfully, we're, we're incredibly well supported still. Um, but, you know, whenever I turn around to my guys and go, you know, I think, I think that's going to, uh, that's probably coming up to it, you know, uh, they'll go, well, you know, we did talk about the greatest hits thing this year, DC, and, uh, and, and don't forget that next year is the 30th anniversary of the White Snake 1987 album, which yeah. I have no... Yeah, I don't get that. People on social media tell me, oh, yeah. congratulations, Reddy and Willie is yeah. 50, 500 years old today. Or, <laughs> you know, and it's amazing. There's always a cause to raise a glass, you know. Well, we're not celebrating, actually, because if you think about, you know, what's happened since January, I mean, hasn't, David, it, you know, hasn't it been geez. terrible? Lemmy, David, Glenn Fry, Prince. Yeah. I mean, it certainly makes one think doesn't it? I mean, it, it kind of 
stops you in your tracks because we're that Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I have to leave the conversation now because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not checking out for some time to come. No, but we... We but I have a question for We are that generation. We are that generation. And, and I, I've known David, I knew David from, Jesus, 74, when he had that amazing plume of uh, the Ziggy days, you know. I met him in, uh, in a suite in Beverly Hills with Ronnie Wood and, and Alice Cooper in a pri the very private soiree. And David was looked breathtaking in a red chiffon <laughs> jumpsuit, which had little flares at the knee. Um, like in a Star Trek right. uniform. And in those days, I'd wear like Indian jewelry, big silver rings and stuff on every finger. And I was so awed by this vision, this deity coming out of uh, like of, a, of a, an Indian painting, you know, coming out of the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I went uh, <laughs> like this. And when he shook my hand, he, he looked so frail. All my rings clicked against him. He goes, yeah, I thought I broke your end. <laughs> <laughs> Total Barrow Boy, London. It was, yeah. it was absolute. What the hell? That does not translate. You know, this vision. I know that you're a great believer. I mean, as we're, we're talking about that and the ones that we've lost, you're a great believer, as is your wife, um, in spirituality. Not completely, yeah. And I, I wonder how that affects you. The well, it's it's to what we believe that the soul is is immortal and that we just come down here and volunteer and, and take on whatever physical aspect we should to to learn whatever lessons we're supposed to learn and uh, that the soul is is immortal mm -hmm. you know it's the physical aspect that's difficult when you lose people the physical aspect of holding your mother and hugging or smelling the perfume or the aftershave of a, of a family member. Mm -hmm. You know, there are certain things that resonate deeply with me. They're usually senses. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it, it really helps with loss and, and grief. We were talking earlier, uh, not on camera, I have to say. We were talking about people that we... How many women we'd had to go? <laughs> we weren't comparing No, no, wait, that. I have a question for you. Somebody yeah. just tweeted, um, which we should do a live tweet. Um, how long have we known each other? Uh, we've known each other. We first met when I was working at Capital Radio oh, in London. And was that it Purple was, Days? Or? It was Purple, yes. Yeah. It was Purple. It was you, Richie. Uh, I think it was just you and Richie. And you came in That's to my studio no recollection with the it. burn with the Burn album. Wow. Because I, I it, actually, I now remember, I had the, I was given the an exclusive, or whatever, yeah. yes, a white label. Yeah, yeah. A a acetate, and you guys it? came yeah. in and launched Mark III on my program. Kick ass. That's how long we've known each other. Kick ass, well, lovely yeah. to see you, man. And well survived. But, but yes, and you indeed, as well. I mean, one of the things that um, we talked about... It's predominantly radio, though, we've done, the intimacy of uh, just sharing microphones yeah, and yeah. stuff. This is, I think Which is a different kind of thing. Yeah, it's a different yeah. atmosphere. Well, oh. Usually late at night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, we talked off camera about some people that we know, and we're not going to mention who they are, oh. who are contemporaries of ours, who are... Um, you were saying, we were saying about how kind of cynical they can be and how... Oh, I avoid um, it. Yeah. And um, Not my bitter and twisted. And what you said to me, you said, when I heard all this stuff going down, of the bitter and twisted, mm -hmm. that you said, I was so happy to be me. <laughs> Completely and utterly. Yeah, I wouldn't be anybody else. I have bluebirds flying out of every orifice, you know, most days. But yeah, it's... I, I can see why some people can uh, turn around and be jaundiced or... Or, or diminish certain things, but what an incredible journey I'm having and have had and experienced and uh, must be doing something right because, you know, there's no way I'd want to live in grumpy city, you know. Yeah. It's just not in me. It really isn't. And I'm a Yorkshireman. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, with that in mind, <laughs> the last time we saw each other, when Vienna. we talked for radio, was in Vienna. Vienna, yeah, the Ritz concert. And you, you gave me a, a present yeah, yeah. of a zucker tort. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, the, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Chocolate cake. 
So I thought that when I came here <laughs> to your home, <laughs> that, I, that, I would gi- that I would give spotted you... Spotted dick. Uh, well, no. <laughs> I He's would given give me you a some, spotted no, dick, no, oh my is, God. This is only a, just a, oh, a little. Oh, my heart. A, a little something for you. Yorkshire tree? Well, yeah, it's a special... It's Yorkshire tea, but it's... It's to save trees. It, it's but dyslexic, it, Yorkshire yes, tea? Yes, I'd like to... <laughs> Yorkshire tree? <laughs> this is... You, what do we do, smoke it? Um, is it bark? No, it's, prob- it's, it's your proper That's tea That's amazing, bags, thank yeah. you so much. It has... It's, uh, it's, it's a little... Sendax, Maurice Sendax. A little... It's little, kind of a bit a little, of a Sendax, a little uh, where the wild things... Home. That's... Well, this is well, unique. Well, not home, a little taste of UK. The Gruffalo, yeah, it's yeah. the... Uh, it's the yeah, this is absolutely... It's, sp- it's a limited edition. It's I'll have you know. It effing well is. <laughs> Yorkshire tree. This isn't Chinese by any chance. No, no. Enjoy. A, thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. I will. David, uh, it's been wonderful to, oh, to be in this area. And to, and it's to wonderful to see, see you. The great team. Thank you so yeah, much. Lovely. Thank and we'll you. see you. We'll see you in London. Yes, for Rambling Man. The the Friday Night Rock Show and Vintage TV are going to be at Rambling Kick Man. Ass, yeah. So we'll see you, please. God I look forward to it. Okay, lovely to see.